Hey YouTube, Big Muffet Chili Head, how are you all doing? Welcome back to my month long look at super hot sauces. And let me tell you, for review two today, um, I'm more scared of this particular sauce than I have been of any other sauce um, for quite some time. This was sent to me, uh, I'd, rather, I'd like to say kindly, um, but I think it's a bit more sadistically, um, from uh, Mr Frizz of Mr Frizz's Chili Channel. And I'll put the link down in the description as, uh, as always. Um, we did a little swap, I sent him some stuff, he sent me some stuff. Uh, and this is the super hot sauce that he sent me that I'm looking at today. Um, but check out his channel, it's really worth a, a good look. Um, and I'm not stalling at all. <laughs> um, this sauce that I'm looking at today, it looks fantastic, but it's going to absolutely destroy me. Uh, this is Heartthrob, which I believe is made by a company called uh, the Chili Pepper Company, and I'll put the link in the description as always. As you can see, it's a fantastic looking bottle. It's got the wax seal, it's got that awesome kind of heart like shape to it, and the sauce itself inside looks really nice. Um, it's got a really nice looking consistency to it and I can see lots of flecks of chilies and all that good stuff in there. Um, so this one is going to be interesting. The ingredient list is very simple. We've got tomatoes, spices, Trinidad scorpion butch teas and Naga viper chilies. So <laughs> this is going to be hot, definitely. Um, I'm not 100% sure how I'm going to get into it. I'm just going to try ripping this uh, seal. Um, and that's not going to work. I might have to use some skizzers, so um, I'm just going to cut into it and I might have to um, speed up the video while I'm doing this, so uh, uh, we shall see. But, I oh know, it's coming away quite easily now, actually. <laughs> um, it's almost a shame to, to have to break this seal because it looks so cool. And if I wasn't having to um, review this today, it would make a great collector's piece if you're one of those folks who does like to save those um, really special looking bottles of hot sauce and the all the limited edition stuff, that kind of thing. Uh, this would make a great collector's piece, that's for sure. Um, but anyway, like I say, yeah, this is actually coming away in really small bits, so I'm going to start cutting away at the wax and uh, I'll be back with you guys shortly. Hey guys, finally I'm back with you. Thanks for bearing with me. So um, I finally got most of the seal off. As you can see, I haven't got the entire thing off, but I have managed to get it open uh, nonetheless without having to um, take the whole lot off. So I think I'll leave it there for now. Um, but anyway, we've got the cap off. So um, let's take a little sniff, shall we? Hmm. Straight away, I have to say, it actually smells really, really nice. I can tell it's hot, but it doesn't actually smell that scary, to be honest. It hasn't got that overly floral um, thing that you aroma that you normally get with quite a lot of the super hot, in my opinion. It's not overly pungent, but it does still definitely contain a lot of chilies in there. And it, it, it's very tomatoey, very tomatoey indeed, which is a good thing. Uh, but it says that the, the ingredients are tomatoes, spices, butch teas, and naga vipers. So I'm assuming that all of the liquidness in here is from the tomatoes, which is really quite good because normally you have like vinegar in there or something to sort of um, bulk up the liquid content. But I'm assuming that this is all uh, basically liquid tomato, which is why it's um, so strong with that tomato aroma. Okay, well, let's get some on the spoon, shall we? And I'll try not to get any of that wax on my spoon as well. So I'm pouring quite gingerly here. I have to say, I mean, it smells really nice and it does have a, a nice consistency here. It almost looks like a, or smells like a, a strong tomato ketchup, actually. Um, which is pretty nice. So, uh, hang on, I'll just go for a little bit more. Let's go all in, shall we? 
Okay. Right, let me just plunk that down so I don't spill. So, it does smell really nice, but and it, it doesn't smell that hot, to be honest. It doesn't have that super strong, super hot aroma that I was expecting, which is really quite interesting, because the peppers in here are deadly. Oh boy. Okay, well, <laughs> here goes nothing. Thanks for watching, guys. Here we go. Wow. The heat kicks in straight away. The flavour, I have to say, is really, really nice. Really, really nice flavour. Tomato-y, really nice texture. And then the flavour kicks in uh, with the chilies pretty much as soon as the heat kicks in. And it is really strong. Um, it's kicking the back of the throat. Kicking the front of the tongue, the tip of the tongue. Um, possibly not quite as hot as I was expecting, but really, really, really hot still, all the same. Um, I didn't have a massive portion, and I'm certainly not going back for any more. Um, and I'm now getting that endorphin rush, which I haven't had for quite a while. Um, my head's kind of pounding a little bit. Um, Starting to get that kind of swimmy kind of feeling, you know. Really, really pumping hard now. Kind of spreading towards the lips now and the roof of the mouth. Um, it's bearable though. It's not killing me. It'll probably kill my stomach later, but <laughs> at the moment I'm okay. It's a, it's a very, very strong sauce. <laughs> but it's not quite as, as scary as I was expecting it to be. Um, this is, however, definitely one for the hardcore chilli heads. I can feel my eyes are now starting to water. Um, my nose is okay, not running too much, but um, I'm definitely tearing up a little bit. Um, the, the, the heat is, is probably on the heat scale for me, probably about an 8 out of 10. Um, this is the high limit of a sauce that you could use like often, I would say. Uh, if you're using it with food, you wouldn't want to use too much because uh, it is really strong. But at least I'm able to talk. I remember um, back in the day when I first started this channel, which was about, I think about three years ago now, I would have had a sauce like this and I'd have been writhing in pain. You know, I'd have, I'd have been struggling to speak in all sorts. So my tolerance has definitely grown since then. Um, this still is definitely one for the hardcore chilli heads. Um, good to see that there's no extract in there. It is all natural, um, excuse me, natural chilli heat. Um, and the flavour, like I say, is still really nice. Once that um, tomato kind of dies away, um, you do get a really nice chilli flavour, I have to admit. Um, it's really, really nice. There's um, the butch teas and what was the other one? The Naga Vipers, yeah. Really, really nice flavour, but very, very strong. The whole mouth is... Deal on fire, roof of the mouth, tip of the tongue. It's dying down at the back of the throat now, um, but the rest of the mouth is still pretty much on fire. Um, but this is actually a really good sauce. I was expecting it to be um, much scarier than it actually is. Like I say, on the heat scale, probably about an 8 out of 10, and on the flavour scale for me, probably about a 6 out of 10. Um, Nothing incredible, but it's really, really nice. Definitely a very pleasant flavour. Certainly, not, certainly nothing to complain about. Excuse me. So, all in all, it's a really nice sauce. So, thank you, Pete, for for sending that over to me. Um, <laughs> and I'm quite surprised that I cooked with it as well as I did, to be fair. Um, so, I'm quite proud of myself today. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. So, that was Heartthrob from the Chili Pepper Company, uh, and I'll be back next week uh, with another super hot sauce review. Catch you all later.